Hello all, welcome to Hearts of Iron 3, the finest out UK playthrough. This is Divida, episode 16A. Let's, uh, let's unpause. And um, just want to tidy up a little bit from last time. Put the political map on. Right, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can just get them on the run again there. Now there was a couple of other things I was thinking of doing, which was... Uh, one was to... Um, let's see which one. Let's leave that one. Leave that for a minute. We want to go to capital ships and just get the battle cruiser up a little bit before we produce the next one, hopefully. That, that will do nice. Um, let's see how we're doing over here. These guys, I believe, I want to head to the coast so that uh, so that we can take them up up theatre a bit to North Africa. So they're moving nicely on. That's tidied that up. These ships seem good to uh, patrol, so we'll move those back out. Right, so supply transportation is the one that's uh, too far advanced. We'll swap that out for uh, maybe uh, electronic research. There we go. So that's all looking good. We 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 sunk, I believe, the Bismarck and. Um, Managed to uh, manage to save most of the fleet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, just looking for these destroyers. I'm going to move those up and regroup these with the with the bigger fleets. I think. So uh, that's that. Check production. Okay, well, quick summary then. France has fallen. We're in a few air battles, so I need to uh, just tidy this lot up. We'll group those five together and um, send them out on uh, air intercept as well. That will do nicely. See how we go there. Ah, oh, okay. These guys are being a bit elusive. So maybe we'll have to... Um, maybe we'll have to chase them down. Right, so we're end of September. We've got a mountain brigade there, which I want to um, send out to uh, send that one out to um, out to the far east. So we'll um, move that one there. I think the Japanese are now in cahoots with Siam by the looks of it, which isn't good news. I was going to check that as well. Still got a couple of uh, cores out there to bolster, so um, okay, I think we're doing okay now. These guys are reorganising. Want to let them rest. Probably be able to move those up as well. 
those are reorganizing as well we'll bring the HQs up a little bit check on the home fleet so we'll bring these into port and um, make a full unit of those hopefully see what we've got out here those have been taking a bit of uh, damage from the from the Luftwaffe I think so we'll uh, rebase them get them repaired the main uh, bodies looking uh, looking okay that's looking good so on the home front we've got um, a good armoured division there with even infantry support for the HQ which was a mistake but uh, and what else have we got there we've got some local guard there that maybe we'll unattach that and just attach it to the second army there okay on the production front we're, we're trying to get convoys through we're low on convoys at the moment but um, hopefully we'll get a few convoys coming through we've got plenty in, in line there we've got another destroyer flotilla coming round another couple of planes and, and marines and I think one of those uh, armoured divisions we can get rid of so we'll do that probably got enough for a full court okay so there they're attacking there so we'll send another one up there we'll bung that one in there it was trying to tell me I had another national decision then but I don't think so don't think we have. We um, need just to check on the diplomacy. Ah, destroy the French fleet. Well, I think that's what we do. I think we'll take that one because um, that was an important decision the British made because they didn't want the the, uh, the French fleet getting into German hands. Now I just want to check um, whether. Whoops, auto saving just want to check whether um, Siam is uh, aligned with uh, Japan so we'll check that now yes they're allied with Japan which is not good um, so in which case what we've got to do is think it think about um, think about holding this area down here so uh, I think what we'll do is probably uh, we're just waiting for that transport to come out there we'll, we'll move some men down to that lower peninsula um, so that uh, so that we can hold the Siamese and the uh, Japanese there as well hopefully while the Americans come from the other way let's see what we've got here okay that looks um, a bit better fleet there let's keep it like that give it a little while to repair a little bit more we have got um, some submarines out there that are doing a good job let's just keep an eye on the battles not doing too well there we'll do what we can ah right now there's that uh, fleet out there let's see if we can catch up with that cool one of the battle there one of the battleships took a bit of a bit of a hammering but uh, 
hopefully um, we'll get him into port in, in short order. Okay, so that's another one, um, another tech done. And we'll uh, leave that one there and go on to the barrels, onto the aircraft barrels and what have you. Okay, so the Italians took a good roast in there. We just want to um, detach this, uh, whoops, detach this battleship and just get him back to port. Okay, we've got to think summing up with this battle, I think. I think now's a good time to bring up some rear reinforcements into that area, so we'll um, try and grab these guys and um, rebase there. I think we'll bring. Uh, some guns to bear off the coast as well just to uh, just to help and we'll also try and um, give some air cover here down here that should help a bit Give our guys as much help as possible. Okay, so um, destroyers again, we can go again with those. Infantry warfare. So that one's too far ahead. We'll go with. Um, Another one there. Okay, so Blitzkrieg is done as well. So, um, should we let that run? Um, yes, I think so. I think so. Okay. So, we've got a couple of. Um, We'll do uh, a couple of ground attacks from there as well. Why not? That'll keep them busy while our guys uh, just bring these up, although they're not ready to fight yet. Like I say, we've got some troops on the way in this transport um, thing. Which I'll, I'll leave going into that port, I think. So let's have a look at intelligence. Um, we're pretty much out of spies again, I think, at the moment. So we'll, um, whoops, uncheck those. Let the spies build up again. Italians are building escorts. Japan are building another flat top and some marines. They really do dominate the air on the sea, so uh, okay. I think this one can go out. Let's 
see if we can catch up with these Germans out here. <coughs> Excuse me. They're about here somewhere, so uh, let's check our air forces. They uh, seem to be dominating the skies there. We'll bring these bombers uh, down to the coast. And we'll do some installation strikes there for them. See if that uh, see if that helps a bit. See if we can catch up with these Germans. They should be around here somewhere. Right, well we've come to a little bit of a standoff here at the moment. We're just um, waiting for air forces to reorganise. There's quite a big lot there that they're also reorganising. Those guys are in pretty poor shape. So um, we'll move these guys around here. I think that one we can attach to uh, Middle East. Let's see if that looks any better there. That's a better command structure. What have we got here? So we've got some chaps coming back to uh, there. We want to move their transports back down to there and just pick up some more guys if we can. That one needs to move back and probably that one as well needs to move back coming through October now artillery research ok so we'll leave that now on that we want to go back to land doctrine and do another one of those I think so the guys I think I'll leave one unit out here smack dab in the middle of uh, Ethiopia just in case of any civil unrest this one can go back to port as well and we've got one coming down here he's nearly there so um, those four transport ships I think I'll uh, send down there first to pick him up whoops send him down there first Yeah, we'll just hold these guys here for a minute and um, hopefully we'll we'll destroy a bit of their morale while theirs picks up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what else to do? I think we could... Um, Put these marines on board some transports and maybe um, rebase them down here and maybe do a little bit of an invasion behind the um, Italians there. Let's try that. I think that might be a good shot. Now I think Russia should be sort of coming into the fray fairly soon, which would be cool, they're mobilising. A few little Polish resistance units there.
At the moment the Germans seem to be concentrating on Norway. I've just got over a cold so I'm a little bit uh, tickly throat at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. So these um, transports, what we'll try and do is um, whoops, it's probably invade there see if we can get them to invade there and move it maybe move that one up the coast to support I think we'll just move these up to here for now don't want to see how they're going Okay, things coming along nicely there. Another research, okay. Swap that one out as well for uh, another barrel job. Let's just check this fleet. Um, Going to do its invasion. We pick this one here, I believe. Oh, they've took them there. <laughs> okay, so we want that one on board. That one on board. On board. On board. Okay, let's see if we can invade now. I think there is the best bet for us see if we can do that that should really help us if we get behind them with some good marines okay these guys are coming out of there so we want to patrol out there they seem to be um, trying to uh, escape those Germans I think we can probably bring this other big unit back up through there now to patrol let's see how uh, well we'll try that one the king calls Churchill Winston is back okay cool right let's see how this invasion is going it looks like we've um, got in behind these guys here which is cool We'll push for the port up there and see what we can do. Maybe a bit too soon to go against these, but we'll try. Now that they're a bit split. These two full strength ones I think we'll send in first. Mm -hmm. 
yeah we'll get to the port and dig in and hopefully meet up with the guys there which will be cool we'll just attach this HQ to um, to the first army there okay right I think these guys can head homeward so we'll send those back back to Blighty let's see how production is doing and see if we're uh, producing any convoys we've sent out another 10 so um, but uh, still none in, in the stockpile so uh, oh, we lost the battle there Okay. Okay. In which case we'll move a couple of those over there. We'll move that one back there. It's all getting a bit messy here. But um We'll see what we can do. Okay, big Dave will battle out here. Cool, that got a good few of them. Okay, production. Let's have a look. I think we'll um, keep it at that. They really are trying to break out here, which is not good for them. I think we could now move this uh, one further up to help out. Oh, there goes my timer. We're now on 5th of November. Remember, remember, the 5th of November. And we have another coastal bomber to deploy, which is good. Whoops, there we go. So we'll pop him down here. And we'll pause, pause it there. Let's just tidy up now just sort out this uh, inefficient research so that one's done we'll uh, go for another land one I think go for mobile warfare so we've got the Italians on the run I think um, seas are looking busy as normal we've got uh, a couple of boats repairing we're picking up some guys now from the Ethiopia conflict which is now settled we're picking these guys up and taking them up to uh, North Africa we're going to leave uh, a couple of units down here just to stop any um, uprisings and that's the state of play at the minute uh, Norway's getting uh, taken over slowly by the uh, Germans there but um, Russia's mobilized uh, Siam and Japan are in a in a packed so we're um, we're probably uh, gonna have to put some defenses here as well so that's the plan for next time hope you enjoyed this episode this is the divot signing off we'll catch you next time <laughs>